Hello, I'm Barbara Eastwick and today we're creating a digital scrapbooking layout using Creating Keepsakes Scrapbook Designer. So to get started, we'll just bring up our software and click Create a Blank Scrapbook Page. And then choose our 12 by 12 inch page size and click Finish. And now we have a large area to work with, so we'll add graphic from disk and we'll add our paper. We find our kits on our hard drive. I get mine from Scrap Wow. And today I'm using a kit from Designs by Shelley called Bountiful Blessings. And I'll choose this nice warm background. I'm doing a fall layout. And with Scrapbook Designer, you just want to bring your paper to outside the print edge. It's that dotted line. And then to add another paper, I'll add graphic from disk and choose another paper. There, this leaf paper will be perfect. And I'm just going to bring it inside the other paper's edge. There, let, let the browner paper be a warm background border. And now add graphic from disk. And I'll be choosing this paper as the matte paper for my photo. Now it's too large as it is. And if I just reduced it in size, it would squish the, the pattern. It would become distorted. So I chose to photo tools and crop. And I used the square size and I just cropped it instead to a nice rectangle and you can turn it and we'll be doing this a few more times add graphic from disk I'm going to choose another paper there and you can see and then click open and you can see that this paper would not be shrunk well that beautiful pattern would get uh, distorted. So I click Photo Tools, Crop Photo, choose my square, and I'll just make this a rectangle, and a slightly larger rectangle than the one I had before. And I'll just set it up. Now I need to send it backwards, not let it drop behind the other one. So I'll choose Layout, Layer, and send back one layer. If I had sent it to back, it would have dropped behind all of the layers. And I only wanted it to go back one layer. There. Now I need one more paper to go between those two. So I'll add graphic from disk and choose this paper. And again I'm going to f crop it by clicking Photo Tools and Crop Photo and use my square cropping tool and I'm just going to make it a rectangle and click OK and it's a little small so I'll go ahead and stretch it a little bit and I want to send that one behind the photo mat so layout, layer, and back one layer. And it just drops behind there. And you can adjust them and turn them and however you wish. So we're going to add graphic from file. And let's go find the elements. I need that cardboard border. And I'm going to move it over here. And if you notice, it's just a little bit short. So I'm just going to stretch it so that it completely covers the paper. Everything outside that dotted line will not save and it will not print. So you can set anything you want outside that dotted line. Add graphic from disk and we'll choose another element. And these stitches are very nice. And I'm just going to turn them 
and then set them over here onto the left. There. Now we'll add some more. This kit has a lot of beautiful embellishments. And this frame border matches the card the cardboard border and the frame the cardboard frame matches so well. So I'm just going to reduce it and set it on top of my mat. Add a felt f a leaf and position it. Now I want another one of these exactly this size. So I'll hit Control D and then OK and another one appears. And I'll just turn it and then I'd like another one still. So Control D, OK, and I'll turn it and I'll position it and I'll just set it up exactly where I'd like it. Now it's time to go get our photo. So we'll do it the same way. Add graphic from disk and then find where your photo is on your hard drive. There's my photo and I'm just going to reduce it evenly by pulling on one corner and sliding it towards the other corner and that will evenly bring the sides in rather than distorting the photo. Now I need to send that photo backwards. Now it's going to have to drop below all the other elements until it drops also behind that frame. And to do it you would just click Layout, Layer, Send Back One Layer, Back One Layer. So, and we'll just keep doing that. Layout, Layer, Back One Layer. There. Now it just dropped behind my frame and we're ready to add a title. So we went to Custom Titles and we'll go ahead and type in our title. And I'm going to choose this pre-made. There's a lot to choose from and you can adjust them and customize them. Now that's a little too big. So I'm going to make it smaller. And now that one's too squished. So I'll just stretch it upward a little and set it right where I want it to be. There. Now we'll add some journaling. So we'll choose text tools and text box. And we'll bring our text box down here and double click and start typing. There I'll just type it quickly. And if I highlight it, I then have a host of options. I can change the font, I can make it bold, and I'm going to go ahead and change it to Ancestry and now it's too small so I'll make it size 36. Now when I made it to when I made it size 36 it was too small for the text box so all I have to do is make my text box larger and my text will fit right in it. And I'm noticing now that the bottom edge of my text is not showing so I need to go ahead and make the text box slightly larger. There we go. And just set it in place. Now we're ready to save. We'll go to File, Export As, and you have to use the drop down menu to choose a JPEG. And you'll want to save it as a JPEG uh, to have it printed and have it sent off to your printer service. So you just type the title and save and that's it. It's done and all ready to go. Thank you.